Um, okay. And yeah, I, you know, I do think that um, women sometimes, and it's interesting because I've been having this conversation with a lot of my girlfriends that are both married and single at the same time. And they, you know, they, they get angry when things don't happen their way and they do blame men sometimes, but at the, you know, in the same breath, they want to vein independence and say that they don't need men. But I think something that's interesting with a topic that you had the other night was stating that women don't need men, um, excuse me, that women need men and that men don't need women at all. And men would be able to survive without women. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's, um, I think that's really destructive towards this kind of bond that you're trying to build between Why? men and women. Okay, before, before you say what you think it is, let me ask you a question. Of course. Is it accurate? Uh, is what accurate specifically? Men who built the infrastructure, mm -hmm. if Thanos snapped away the women, men in the main could live to the end of their natural existence by simply maintaining the infrastructure in which we built. Correct. I think women could also maintain. The okay. Let me let me but, well. see. That's that's the difference between this. Let me finish the follow up question. Could women maintain the infrastructure they did not build and they're not trained to run? Yes. How? Okay. How could women effectively do that before nature set in? Meaning, yes, you possess the intellectual capability to read a manual. You possess all of that. But still, infrastructure breaks down. Have you ever had a manual labor job or a job where you had to work with machinery? So I, so I will say, and I had this discussion with my boyfriend today, I do all my own manual labor at my house. I've okay, changed- Okay, your own manual labor at your house, man, but I'm asking you, have you ever had to work with heavy machinery? Um, to a lesser degree, but if I, if I needed to- Such I as, give me an example. Um, I worked, uh, I worked a job back home, uh, in a bakery where I was dealing with heavy machine, literal heavy, heavy machinery in the What bakery. kind of machinery, man? Um, I mean, anything that had to do with a, like industrial baking. In a, in, okay. So no, no offense, but in a kitchen. Uh, pardon me? No offense, but it's in, it's in a kitchen, industrial baking. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I, course, but yeah. what I'm talking about, man, is I'm talking about, you're talking about construction. You're talking no, I'm about talking about power plants, power grids. I'm talking about refineries, <laughs> oil wells, sure. oil derricks. I'm talking about heavy machinery, backhoes. Of course. Uh, things that, so, th hold on, listen. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the things that negate physical advantage that men have. Right. And there, you cannot tell me you can train a population of women to get them up to speed to do the job at the level men are doing it before women start to die off. If you so, understand how this country is run, mm -hmm, how the yes. power grid is laid out, if you understand how the logistics work, when Corona came around, one of the biggest concerns were that the medication flow was going to stop because we have a one drop logistics, one drop logistics chain. We don't have much for disaster recovery. Why do you think you didn't see toilet paper uh, and water? Because all the logistics broke down. People went and bought all of the stuff. There was no more stuff. I get that women have the mental ability to do it, but how long do you survive without clean water? So, but so, um, so let, let, can we take a step back on your argument? Because yep. what you're saying is that physically women don't have the capability to maintain and sustain the development that's been built by men, correct? Yes. Am I, am I understanding that correctly? Yes, you don't. Okay. So that, that, that's where I disagree with you. Um, and, and I disagree with it because I will say um, it, there's a caveat to this. I'm the youngest of five kids. Um, my, I have, uh, there's two sisters, two brothers. You now, know, where I, are you going to disagree on the fact about the physical strength? That, that, that it, it is very possible. So my disagreement is that it is very possible for women to sustain physically an environment that men have built without men. I have no, no, it. no, ma'am. You said you disagree with the notion of the strength difference between men and women. Yes, because, because oh, listen, 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 no, 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 no. You can over talk me. I don't, I don't do that. Okay. The average hand strength of a man to a woman is like a 17 or 70. I forget them. It's magnitudes larger for a man versus a woman in the fire department to be able to be a fireman. You have to be able to do a 200 pound dead man's carry. Did you watch the beginning of this show? 
I did. I, I, from, and right. I, with, with, and with, women uh, failed the uh, test, respect, the physical readiness test. Women, no, test. you can't over talk me. Women failed the physical readiness test 65% of the time. Mm -hmm. that, you know what the exercise they failed? You want to know what exercise they failed? Hanging from a pole, hanging from a chin up bar, pulling your knees to your chin. That's what the women failed. It sure. wasn't lifting heavy weights. It was moving their own French toast body weight. Yep. So telling me just because you may be a rugged woman that women like you are the norm is a fantasy. Well, so number one, I, I, I take the slight offense to you calling me rugged. What um, would you want me to call you, ma'am? You, you came in talking about your background and you worked with industrial machinery. What would you want me to call you? Well, number one, well, with all, with all due respect, that was that was one instance when I was 16. You asked me for an example. So what would you like me to call you? <laughs> uh, you can call me by my name. That's, <laughs> that's no, no. The, the modifier. You are making yourself seem as though you are different than most women. Are you this? Okay, let's let's back up. Yeah, we yeah. And, let's your, and, and here's the thing: I think, you don't I think like my, look, if you watch my show, ma'am, you should know how I speak. So this is no snowflake zone, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. If you can't handle it, I'll bid you a good night. There's no snowflake here. Well, then don't. don't then what's the insult in calling you rugged? I think rugged comes with connotations that aren't that aren't. Necessarily what is the rugged. insult in calling you rugged? I, rugged comes with connotations that what would you like me to call you when you're trying to make yourself seem as though i can do this heavy machinery i did an industrial banking i'm one two or five kids and i was born this way when most women don't talk about these things as part of being their feminine asset that's considered right. to be far more masculine Right. So, but see, so your, your argument is flawed and, and this is, you know, right, my a, argument's a, flawed women. It's I'm, okay. Here's where we're going to ultimately get to. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into a circular argument with you, ma'am. You can believe what you want to. I really don't care. What you believe what they want to. But the bottom line is me. you can believe what you want to, but you cannot show me that if women can do these jobs and run the infrastructure, why are you not doing it? Because they pay better. There and it's easier for because women we don't to, have to We can allow men to do it. You don't, don't have to. Do because you, not that you don't have to. You don't have okay, to. Okay. Well, okay. So in other words, you benefit off of men doing them. Uh, are you honestly, uh, so, are you honestly absolutely. trying to tell me that you think, I guess. We are you, no, I've said not going to talk me. I meant that shit. Maybe you over talk your boyfriend. That doesn't work here. Are we clear? Nod your head and say we clear. Good. I'll be nice to you if you're nice to me, man, but I'm not going to allow you to over talk me like that. If you're honestly telling me that women can get up to speed and run the infrastructure to the same level of efficiency that men can, I think you are sadly mistaken. But you are free to be sadly mistaken. May I speak? Sure. So that, I, that is not the argument that I'm making. Initially, you said that women are incapable of surviving without men. Men are capable of surviving without That is not what men. I said. I did not say incapable. I you said the majority of women will not live to end. No, no. Let me clear you up because I know what I say because I'm responsible for what comes out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I said women are incapable of living to the end of their natural existence in mass. Meaning that, yes, by the time women actually got up to speed and learned. See, here's the thing. The presumption is that the requisite information that you and other women need to learn is digital. And that the systems are still running. But see, when the power grid fails, all the information and the manuals are where? They're warehoused in libraries and in other places. And you would have to actually physically go read this stuff. And the time in which it takes you to actually download and read the knowledge, there are women who are on dialysis. There are women who are on oxygen. There are women who need all kinds of things. Women are dying because you're not the, because the infrastructure is breaking down. While you're getting up to speed, there is attrition. Men don't require that because they're already doing it. It's simply knowledge transfer from one man to another. There's no needing to get up to speed. It's, hey man, do this, 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 this. There is no transfer because there are no women already doing that. Can we agree on that part? Yes, and can, can we add another another piece to this then? Because you raise an excellent point to to, to another piece that women outlive men. In, in retirement homes, you see more women. You outlive men, men because of modern advances. Women didn't typically outlive men because you would die most of the time where? In childbirth. In childbirth. 
Childbirth, yeah. Exactly. So even your even your lengthy existence is due to men. Okay. So so then doesn't isn't that the circular argument that No, it's not. It means you it means it means that the reason you women can feel like you can do what we do is because we've civilized the world in general to where you have forgotten how hard it actually is to live. Ma'am, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Don't believe me. Go after this show is over. I didn't say that. Listen, listen. Okay. Okay. But listen to what I'm about to say. Go after the show is over and go to Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Go look for a series called The Island by Bear Grylls. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. All right. In season two, if you watch it, you saw men and women. The producers came out and said they manipulated the environment because women were dropping like flies. Mm-hmm. Women, w- women through women for the audience. These people start off on the islands. They have a few matches, knife, some a little a bit, little bit of string, some fish hooks, some things like that, and two large canisters to to actually purify water. Two for everybody. What did the women do? Women actually found a pig. I mean, not a pig. Um, yeah, uh, when they finally decided, to, when they finally like, they found a pig, they found a pig, but they named the pig. Mm-hmm. They named the pig and didn't want to kill the pig. Right. But when they finally decided that they needed to kill the pig and eat they something, they finally decided they killed it. And guess what? Where did the women, after they gorged themselves, where did they what did they decide to do with the meat? They decided to put the meat into one of the water canisters. To store it to keep it from bugs and pests and everything else. And guess what happened? Bacteria, everything set in. They went and opened the water canister and it was putrid. What did these women do? What did these women do? They they took the putrid canister and put it in the river and left. They cut their water supply by half and damn near died of dehydration. They had to go back four days later after the rescue team came in and said, bam, you can't survive. You can't make enough fresh water on this island. There's not enough. You can't capture enough. You need to go take that canister, clean it out and use it to boil and purify water. If they hadn't been told that knowledge, they'd all be dead. That is irrefutable. So I have enough respect for you to say this. Don't you think, though, that that is fictionalized by reality TV and or oh my God. entertainment? I Do think what I think what's fictionalized, what I think is fictionalized, what I think is fictionalized is you women actually thinking that there's not much difference between us. Because you saw those women. Oh, no, 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 the, no, no, you, no, no, ma'am. You asked me. You saw I those women. You difference. saw those women at the end of six <laughs> weeks. At the end of six weeks, men had yeah. built a functional shelter. They had killed large prey. They had fished. They had actually repaired the net to capture lots of fish. Men were living well. Matter of fact, the only guys that had been taken off the island were due to actual falls and injuries. In week five, women were still trying to lead by French toast committee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ma'am. I get that you may be a different caliber and color woman, but you are not the majority. So, so is it is it not fair then to to say? Uh, and and I'm I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> but is it is that not fair to say then that there's an there's a you know a codependency and a healthy codependency between men and women that we both require each other for a healthy existence? No. no that it I'll tell you why it's not. I'll tell you why it's not. I will tell you why it's not. Let me give you an yeah. example of why it's not. Let me give you an Please example. Say. Let's go back a thousand years, okay? Actually, let's go back even further. Let's go back, uh, yeah, let's go back to the time of Alexander. Let's go back to the time of warring states. How come- Like Alexander the Great? Yeah, how how come men could walk, how come men could live in armies of all men and be gone from their city, state, province and live with all men? Yeah. That shows we don't need you. The only thing we need you for is reproduction. We want you for sex. But see, even then, a lot of times those guys had pages or squires. Those young boys were sexual companions to these men as well. Hey, the yeah. one, why When they had followers camp, what was in followers camp? The, the brothel. Because that's, the, that's what the soldiers who were, had R&R were able to go spend their money in the brothels. So how That's are the where women men got their sex the from? The men, and the hold on, and the, hold on, and the art, and because not because because back then, the men who were married had to be able to b- provide for a woman. 
Most men lived and died in the military. Mm -hmm. Many men lived and died right. in the military. Where were the equivalent women doing this? Marching across the world, discovering the world. You can't, ma'am. You wouldn't, you don't have the strength to do it. So, so we're no we're no longer we're no longer in Alexander the Great Times, right? There's a lot of um, modernization that has removed a lot of the physical requirements for men for even men to do a lot of physical jobs. So how do, how does that take place then in modern times? It, it, how is there because we, men? because <laughs> men are because because this is why you see so many shows like The Walking Dead and stuff coming up, <laughs> right? Because men <laughs> still because like it or not, men even though we're in modern times, we are still the human animal we still have our hunter our, our hunter instincts we still know what needs to be done the only reason women can make the argument you're making is because it is modern times ma'am what is more vulnerable than a pregnant female hey I, you know what there's there's a lot of women in my life who my sister just gave birth there's a lot of i that is a an excellent point to make i think a woman with a child cannot hunt for a woman with a course, child yeah, cannot can't do hunt. She can't do anything. Exactly. So you course, require yeah. the men. Men don't require that. Men have to be able to sustain themselves. So you're you're you're, you're breaking your own argument just in a state of nature. Well, a mother cannot well, no, make what, milk. What, what, what listen, I think a mother a mother cannot produce milk, keep milk flowing, hunt and take down enough prey to keep lactating and protect her child at the same time she's going to have to leave that child somewhere mm -hmm. that crying child is going to be left somewhere to nature and predators so isn't there an argument to be made then for the tribes in the amazonian and in in, in certain parts of amazonia you mean yeah, well, fiction no 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 kevin that's actually that's that's actually correct and then in, in certain okay i'll give you wonder woman and demascara okay ma'am no, 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 no. i'll we give I, i'll give you all the amazon facetious no I, yeah because it's a facetious argument man because when i hear women talk about you know what about when they had matriarchies and they had queens the people who still ran the environments who were the soldiers in these matriarchal armies were still the men the men were still the farmers the men were still the hunters They're the, the hunters men were still in the army yeah. Yeah. excuse me so, but, but, but what, what I was saying before and, and to the point and, and coming back to what I was saying is that because things have changed now and men are not required physically to do a lot of the things that as you're stating previously uh -huh. had to, how is there not then a codependency on men and women? And we I don't, because men are, okay, ma'am, the society that you live in, that? the society that you live in, mm -hmm. the men who are not required to do something are still being sustained by the men who are doing it. So See, then what is you, their listen, value? listen, let me explain so it to you. Let me explain. No, no, no don't come. Are no, you over talking me, ma'am? Please don't make me go there because I know you can hear me. The men who are working the power plants, the men who are working the power grids, the men who are working the refineries and all these other things, they're doing their job. Then the men who are over here doing what they do, that has the society running. So these men don't have to do it because these men are. These men know that they were going to have to train these men to replace them. We know how to run a world we built. There are not enough women over here doing these jobs to sustain the population of women over here. There are enough men over here doing these jobs today to sustain the population of men today because it's happening. That is the fundamental math you cannot get around. There are not enough women today doing the jobs to sustain a population of women who are not. You require, you need us to live. Is there then not an argument to be made that if there are these men... There Can are you at least acknowledge that before you make another argument? Yeah, I, I'm going to, what I want to add... Uh, can you, you know, acknowledge that before so you add? Acknowledge you before you acknowledge, can you acknowledge before you that. add? Because I don't yeah. like women moving the goalposts. No, no, no. I, I hear what I hear what you're saying. Of course, but you have not acknowledged it. How would you? What I I'm not would sure. Would you I'm agree sure or disagree? Happened. Okay. Would you agree that there are men running the infrastructure and environment and men over here not running? But we have enough men running Absolutely. the infrastructure and environment to where these men don't have to. Would you agree? Uh, That's the current setup. Saying that there are men that are dependent on the other men that are running the infrastructure? Yeah, the current setup, yes. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All course. right. Yeah. Would you also agree that in the current setup, there are not enough women running the same set infrastructure to provide for the same population of women using the infrastructure? 
Yeah, of course. I, I've never, I'm not disagreeing with All that. All right, ma'am. Well, if that's the case, what you're saying is the women who are in the minority over here can keep it running at a level to where what she's re- basically saying is you can't, I don't know if you understand the math of this, but I'm, I'm not trying to be funny, but you're basically trying to say a minority of women that ex- already exists can that keep an everything. infrastructure running that it requires the majority of men to do. You're basically saying that, let's say, let's just give a number to it. Let's say for the infrastructure is women are running the infrastructure at a 20% rate. I'll give you 20%. That means 80% still by men. That makes a total of 100%. Running it for 51% of females and 49% of males. So 80% of the infrastructure is being run for 49% of the males. 20% of women are running infrastructure for 51% of the males. If we look at it, it's just male to female. Yep. But if you take that away, you get 100% production from the, from the grid. 20% of women cannot produce for 51% of, yeah. of women when it takes 80% of men to produce for 49% of men. It's mathematically impossible. Yeah, absolutely. You, you, look, what, what you're saying isn't false. What, what I, what I, what I want to ask you, um, be, because there's, I think there's a, there, a missing piece to this in, in terms of um, what I'm understanding in terms of what you're saying, is that if there are a, a certain um, percentage of men who are dependent on the the larger group of men who have sustained this infrastructure, why do we need them then? <laughs> you know, so what's their value in this? Uh, well, so okay, to answer your question, it? hold on, hold on, hold on. If there's a certain percentage of men over here surviving and these guys are running the infrastructure, why do we need these men? So the, could you say- uh, Are you know, asking the question, why are the men who are not running the infrastructure needed? Correct. Uh, well, the men d- term them as necessary because those are our replacements. Those are the people who come in to do the job. See, there's always going to be somebody at the front of the Peloton and at the back. See, men understand that we need each other and we're willing to do these jobs. Just like on the island, there were guys who hunted, there were guys who built fixed fix nets. But we never tried to act as though one were greater than the other. We understand we need one another. Women try to act like everybody's equal and that you can all do it on your own. The reality is this, man, women in this country, in this world, you're running on override. Men have provided a world of plenty enough to where you could even make this argument. And for the audience, I need you to remember something. A key point, this woman, and I'm going to bring out your color right now, this white woman first came in saying that you were having this argument with who? I'm sorry, it was an gr- argument with a, I didn't hear the word you said. You know, whoever, you were having this argument with who earlier today? Oh, I was having, I was, no, it wasn't an argument. We were having a discussion about a discussion your discussion with whom? My boyfriend, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You got a man. Yeah. Thank you. I do. <laughs> I, that's all I'm trying to make. You got a man. So understand something. You can make these womanist arguments. You can make these equality arguments. But at the end of the day, you still got a penis in the house. And and hopefully you go home and use it because it sounds like putting up with you as nice as you may be, ma'am. You must be a piece <laughs> of work. Get out of here. Bye. She would have to laugh at that shit herself. Bye, Veronica. <laughs>